This is an FRG ministry production with the support of our ministry partners and donors. Three misconceptions about Mary. I want to clarify a few things because I get so much criticism when I put my homilies on social media, especially when I talk about Mary. Let me clarify three important, essential things. I've even written them down here to make sure that I'm clear with you here. The first misconception, one, is that Mary is a mediator and not an intercessor. So that, that's a misconception. Number one, Mary is an intercessor. She is not a mediator. She cannot take us to the Father. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. But what is Mary's role then? Well, Mary's role is to pray for us, to pray for us, to, she barracks for us, she sides for us to make sure that we get to heaven. She knows the heart of Jesus and she can pray according to that heart for us. She loves us and so she is vicious in praying for us. You have no more powerful prayer than a, a mother praying for a child because they will be relentless in their prayer. The second misconception is the comments I get. Where is that in the Bible? Well, the misconception is that it is not in the Bible. Well, it is in the Bible. I'll give you a few quotes. Revelations chapter five, verse eight. The saints pray for us in heaven. They pray for us through their, their closeness with God. There is no death in the kingdom of heaven. So they continue to pray for us there to make sure that we too pass the line and get to heaven. Another scripture verse is 2 Maccabees 15. Now, the Protestant will be there saying, well, what is that book that's been taken out? That's been taken out by Luther. That's been taken out through the ages. The, as Catholics, we believe this to be part of the canon. We know this to be part of the canon. 2 Maccabees chapter 15 also says that the saints pray for us there in heaven, bringing us to heaven. The third one is Tobit chapter 12. Look all of these up. There is scriptural proof, evidence that Mary, as one of the saints in heaven, is praying for us. That's the second misconception that there's no mention of Mary, the saints praying for us in heaven. The third misconception is that the rosary is worshiping Mary. We worship Mary. We don't worship Mary. We venerate Mary. Big difference. The, to worship something is to put them up. It's, it's to acknowledge them as, as God, but to venerate is to look at them and think, man, I want to be like you. I want to love Jesus like you do. And I honor you because you honored the Lord, the one I love. We don't meditate on Mary during the rosary. We quote scripture as we have quoted in today's reading. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Those are the words of Elizabeth when she visited Mary. And we pray for her intercession now and at the hour of our death, as Tobit, as the book of Revelation, as Maccabees tells us to do. She is our intercessor. She's not our mediator. It is in the scripture and we don't worship her, but we venerate her because there's no one in history who loved Jesus like Mary loves Jesus. This production is only made possible because of the generous support of FRG Ministry partners and donors. Please go to frgministry.com donate to make a donation.